Well, good morning, Intervet fans, and welcome to the preview for uh, Scottsville. Let me just get this correct. There you go. Scottsville, we're uh, Monday, the 22nd of May. Remember, this is the meeting that was meant to be run yesterday, and because of the um, poor condition of the track, too wet, it's uh, now today. 26 pentrometer around the, down the straight, 28 round the bend, good to soft and soft, 9 meter false rail, 9 race program, a very good racing indeed, race 1, 11.55. There's 1100 meter uh, maiden juvenile plate for fillies. Well, the key horses um, got to be uh, the Princess Arlo, which is the Glenn Cotson runner. Very good comments come out of this. There has been a bit of support to so have a very close look. I think Bomber Girls also have all got a beat, and I do make it the right horse. Kamala sticks with this for Tinny Prince Lou. That's number 11. Um, there are others that have run well. Jane's Vision didn't run badly first time out. Look for big improvement. Roberts's horses do improve. Mia's Athena, two very nice runs as well. And piece by piece, look for improvement. The other Roberts runner uh, should be there or thereabouts. But tough race to start off with, but at least it's not an exotic. So the Bipod Stars race two. Juvenile plate, 1,100 uh, meters at least, and it's very hard to look past Icy Blast. Does get the blinkers again, and this form is very good indeed. Rambia Winter Cloud, which was um, winner of the feature race um, up at uh, Kenilworth. So that's the uh, one they've all got to beat, and to find a danger is absolutely impossible. Maybe Laudato, um, the Puller runner in the colours of uh, Neil Andrews' syndicate. Race three, maiden, uh, there's a juvenile plate, um, 1,400 metres, and Fabonacci I liked last time, but he just needed the run, ran third, and I think he'll go very well. He gets a blinkers applied today. That's number five, Fabonacci. Winter Frolic, very good first run, ran on, um, and uh, that's another Glenn Cotson inmate, gets to Mello again. That's a very good uh, sign. Got to go well. Nelson Bay, common ground, I found, as a, as a horse. Nelson Bay, obviously, got form now. Kamala rides it. Craig Zaki's not riding. Two good runs. But common ground's the find of the race. This is um, 20 to 1, number 11. And uh, Rachel Venica gets aboard. Let's have a very close look at common ground. I think it's worth having in each way. Uh, Aberdeen improved last time. King of Seville ran on twice. So it's quite competitive, this race. And um, expect to put in a number of horses in your bipod. Race four, first leg of the pick six, maiden plate, 1,400 metres. And uh, this is what it means. Number three is your favourite. Kamala gets a ride. Musket's got Peter Musket's stable. Got two very nice horses in here. Trussova. Uh, ran very well first time out, so watch the betting before you put on your pick six, and um, it should be uh, both of them should be in the in the firing line. Power Star look for uh, got some form and could go well, but then uh, have a very good close look at Player X. Laps runner has run on twice. Muzi rode it last time, could go in as well. Race five, maiden plate fillies and mares. They go sixteen hundred meters. I think Saint Cloud number one will improve with the uh, uh, ground, and Gavin Larina is a big, big improvement for this one. But uh, Bosne, the Daryl Moore runner number six, is my top choice. Damello gets a leg up, and I think it will go very, very well. There's been money for the apple of my eye, and we know when there's money for these horses from this yard, put them in number nine. Race six, this is a 1600 meter merit rated handicap. Fabulous, the Roberts runner with Rachel Vinegar aboard is the one they've all got to beat, but I do like Alpha Betty and Feeling Groovy, four and five. I think they'll go well. Alpha Betty comes off a rest, which is of concern. And have a close look at Family Favourite. It's quite a tough race because Family Favourite is like eight, ten to one, loves the track and distance, three, one, one, and uh, Kamala gets aboard it, so that's a very big plus. Race seven, uh, this is a merit rate of 77, and they go 1950. I'm going strongly with number nine, Exceed. I'd have a proper each way bet. I like this horse, and I think he's got ability, and I think there's a perfect race for him. So expect him to go very well. Averni King and Tin Cup, 13 and 14, have both got draws to overcome. I don't know if Tin Cup's going to get in because he's a reserve. And then um, Aurora Storm, number one, third run after rest. Look for improvement. 
Professor Snape needed his last run, and Pirate Prince might improve. Race 8, uh, this is a 1200 meter uh, merit rated handicap, and I think Winter Baron's a find of the race number one. If draw one holds up, go very, very well, Winter Baron. But uh, the right horses seem to be Cheeky Laddie, number 15, very good form, ran on last time. First run at Durban, this will be much better for Cheeky Laddie. Expect him to go really well here, and he looks well uh, merit rated. Mr. Henley, if he comes back off, off the rest, he'll go very well too, number 10. And Champampo Champompi gets a four kilogram clamor who got suspended for his first ride. Maybe he's learned something. He'll go well, go man, go third run after rest, and ensuing both got chances. Race nine, merit rated handicap, they got 1200 meters. Holly's fate. As course and distance one from one, that's number one, go well. La Pira Vida, uh, Gareth Van Zell gets a one and a half claimer, has got very good form. Um, Perigolium, well, we liked that last time, and um, it got six point penalty for winning. Princess Osma's a stable change, might improve, but uh, might need a lot further than this. Captain Ariana has got some good form, certainly number nine, I expect to go well. And Sepolia uh, found this last time and uh, it got seven points penalty. Aga Heat, ignore its last run. Very difficult last race to finish off with. So from me, James Goodman, the whole Interbet team, hope you start the week on a great note and um, look forward to tomorrow's meeting on the Polytrack.